It's time to spend a weekend in the hills. Hey everybody, it's Tristan Demuth, Mindful Living Realty. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I talk everything about moving to Rapid City and the wonderful things of Rapid City and the Black Hills. In this episode of Tristan About Town, we're staying at a vacation cabin for the weekend at Cherry Peak. Cherry Peak is on the northern edge of the Black Hills, just beyond Leed and Deadwood, about an hour away from Rapid City. The vacation home that we stayed at is in a neighborhood just beyond the Cherry Peak ski area. This beautiful home had big windows, big spaces, a game room, views all around, and a hot tub to boot. We watched movies, played games, cooked on the stove, and you rolled up some steaks. We love sitting on the deck, enjoying the fire, and watching the sunset each night. It's March 7th. I'm sitting on the deck in the sun no coat on. It's amazing. If snow skiing and snowboarding is your thing, you're minutes away from the Terry Peak ski area, where there's beautiful views, multiple runs, and play areas. Historical lead is only a few miles away, and you can always check out Deadwood and see if you can win some money. About 15 minutes west of this area is Spearfish Canyon. One afternoon we drove to Iron Creek Trail and enjoy the scenery. We made sure to leave a snow marker, letting the world know the Emons were here. There are vacation home rentals all over the Black Hills. You can find them with popular websites such as Airbnb, VRBO, and local sites such as Executive Lodging and BlackHillsVacationCabins.com. There are even a couple of sites specific to the subdivision, such as Edelweiss Mountain. Pro tip, if you do come up here to Terry Peak, stay through Monday. What happens is a lot of people coming up for the weekend have to be back Sunday night, so they leave Sunday morning. So Sunday afternoon, it's peaceful and tranquil. Got you covered. Now that you've come this far in the video, you're probably thinking two things. The first one is, boy Tristan, you're pretty cool in these videos. Of course. Who's the brains in this outfit? Uh, My point exactly. And the second thing is, wow, maybe I should buy a vacation home in the hills and rent it out. And that's a good possibility for you. But let's talk about a few things you should know before you move forward with this thought form. First one, more rules and regulations. So first of all is the county rules. If you're within Pennington County, which is the Rapid City and Hill City area right in the middle of the hills, they have a lot more rules in regarding to what properties can and cannot be considered a, a nightly vacation rental. The Pennington County Vacation Ordinance has three pages worth of rules, regulations, site plans, all these things they need to approve you to be a vacation home nightly rental. So it's really a lot of work to go through and sometimes not even worth the trouble. Now if you're buying a home in Pennington County that already has been a vacation home, it can continue along in that stead and be grandfathered into it, so to speak. But if you're buying a new property that hasn't been, you need to get approval from Pennington County to make sure that it's a legal nightly rental. Now other counties in the Black Hills, such as Custer County and Fall River County and to the south, and Meade County, Lawrence County, and Butte County to the north, these have fewer regulations. So it's a lot easier to do a vacation home nightly rental in those counties. The other thing to consider while we're talking about rules and regulations is the covenants of the property that you wanna buy. The rules of the subdivision might prohibit nightly rentals, might prohibit extra people coming in to the property. So you want to make sure that the covenants say you're okay with the nightly rentals. All right, now that we've talked about the fun rules and regulations, let's talk about getting into the process of thinking about buying a potential vacation home. So the first question we have to ask ourselves or ask yourself is, what is your goal in this type of adventure? Would it be to stay in the property all summer long and rent it out through the winter? 
that's the case, you might want to consider buying a property up at Cherry Peak, which is closer to the ski area. Do you want to buy a vacation homes for yourself? And if, hey, if you happen to get it rented every once in a while, good for you. In which case, you have more options as far as where you're going to be and your amenities and that kind of thing. Or maybe you want to make a full-time run of it and just be a vacation rental. And that's mostly what you want to use it for and just come out here a week or two over the year or however it looks best for you. By answering this question for yourself, we can then narrow down where you want to be, what amenities you need to have, what services you can offer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's talk about location for a moment. Now, people that are coming into the Black Hills for a vacation want to use a vacation home to rent and then go day tripping every day. And they make it a vacation home their stay at home spot. So if it's far, far back away from everything, not as many people are going to be interested in renting your vacation pro property. If you have to use, hey, use a snowmobile to get to it in the winter time, even less people are going to be interested in that feat. So you got to make sure that you adjust the location of your property to whatever your goal is as far as your vacation home rental aspirations. And to piggyback right along location is the idea of amenities. If you are having a vacation home you want people to come to, you want to have those things that most people are going to want, such as a decent Wi-Fi signal, maybe a hot tub, maybe there's a view or something, or maybe you're back with somewhere in the trees. You want to make sure that your property is appealing to the most people as possible if that's your goal. A property right next to a busy highway might not be as appealing, but you don't want to be too far away from everything else so that it takes a long time to get out of where you're staying. But of course on the flip side, there are some people that like to get away in the Black Hills and just get away. For example, those properties on Idlewise Mountain that I mentioned earlier, they're like 20 minutes from the highway, 30 minutes to the nearest town. So they're a little bit farther back and some of them don't even have any Wi-Fi signal. We stayed at one where we actually had a landline that we picked up the phone and called our kids and gave them the landline phone number because there was no cell service. And that was great to get away for a while because that was our intention, but not everybody will like the fact that no Wi-Fi, I can't get a hold of anybody, doesn't always play with everybody. So make sure whatever property we're looking at matches the goals that we've talked about earlier. The other thing to consider, especially looking at this from the business side of things, is that there's plenty of competition. There are plenty of Black Hills vacation home rentals available all over the Black Hills in all sorts of different areas and places. So you need to make sure yours fits in as far as location, amenities, and price. So let's talk about price for a bit. Now I looked up on Airbnb, that Terry Peak area that we were just at. You can find a rental up there anywhere from $150 to over $300. Now maybe you're doing the mental gymnastics right now, $200 to $300 a day, even if you figure out that you rent the property for half of the year, a little bit of money in there. Plus you charge on top of that for cleaning services, so that doesn't come out of your pocket. It could be a pretty good investment. But let's talk about the price of the homes that you'd be purchasing to get all this done. For example, the properties that I've seen for sale in the Terry Peak area have been anywhere between $450,000 to $550,000. And these are very nice 2,000 square foot homes, some kind of log or wood siding, very beautiful properties. And this is the same throughout the Black Hills. Any property that has some acreage with a house on it, especially a very nice looking house, you're probably gonna be spend upwards of $400,000 for that property. So make sure you run your numbers. Make sure that those numbers meet your goals. Finally, you need to consider who is going to clean and take care of this property for you while you are away. Now, there are plenty of vacation home management companies here in the Black Hills, and you can hire them to do all these services for you. Make sure that they uh, clean the property for you, they check in on it, make sure there are no frozen pipes, everything's operational, that kind of thing. Or you could do it yourself, hire your own cleaners to clean the property, but what's going to happen when emergencies pop up? Who's going to take care of them in that scenario? The other option, of course, is to do it like my dad and his wife do. They rent out their house during the summer, and then spend that time camping out in their RV in different places in the Black Hills. So it's like an extended camping trip. And then when their guests leave, they come in and they clean it for themselves and get it ready for the next guest. There you are, my friends. Just a few things to think about if you're thinking about buying a home in the Black Hills and using it as a nightly vacation rental. It was an amazing weekend for us. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And of course, remember to watch this video and this playlist. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Remember, love where you live.